What is going on guys, my name is Sun and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial and in this morning tutorial we're going to be using inner core so let's get right to it. So the first step of creating your own mods is to of course install inner core. No, no, I was wrong. The first step is actually clicking the subscribe button and leaving a like on this video so you'll be awesome and super awesome for weeks. Let's do that right now and go to Play Store. Alright, so in the Play Store, we're gonna type in Inner Core. And you can install this one. And after that, you're gonna need is a 7 zipper. This one is to extract the mods that you will be downloading. Droid Edit. Droid Edit is a free code editor. You can install it and use it as long as you want for free. I got the pro version. The difference is just the pro version contains no ads and you can change the color scheme. After that, you will go into icmods.mindprogramming.org slash pattern this is where we're gonna create a pattern for your mods basically a template I'm gonna choose the name tutorial mods and the outer harm programmer and description a mod tutorial I'm gonna download the mod file here by clicking generate pattern it will ask you to save I have already downloaded so it says download the file again I'm gonna choose cancel but you have to put to choose download and that is it. After you have downloaded the app, you can go into 7-zipper, open it up, and extract the file. So this is the file that I've been downloaded. This is my template. And I can extract the zip. I can go into the folder I want to put this in. I'm gonna go to games.com.mojang and I'm gonna choose mods so this is the entire place where I extracted and I'm gonna click create folder I'm gonna open it up and as you can see here is my mods besides any other mods and as you can see you can open up the dev this is where your mods will be stored and the build.config it's just basically gonna set up how your mod is built so unlike block launcher we can store the texture pack in the same folder in the assets folder items of pack is for the items and the train atlas is for the blocks so what you want to edit is the main.js i'm gonna tap on it as you can see it's still saying just alert hello world and there's not much here so i'm gonna just open up inner core just take a look at what do i got there as you can see here we got the tutorial mods right here in the mod browser you can go to inner core in the main menu and you will see this and as you can see here the outer is no version is no so most of the information we put on the website is not actually transferred here so we're gonna be making that so this is a file that you have to type in your droid edit you can change the author name version and description and don't forget these brackets these are important and don't forget the commas and every single symbol in here after that you can hit save or save as in your local system and I'm gonna go up into the tutorial mods folder and I'm gonna save it with the name mod.info with this thing, you can change the name of your mod. So I'm going to change this. This is actually a template from my legendary boss mod. So I'm going to change it to tutorial mods. There we go. And I'm just going to delete the description and change it to tutorial. Alright, there you go. So now we're going to restart the inner core by deleting it like that. I'm going to reopen it. As you can see there, we got the hell word in our mod. This is a non-fatal error, so you can ignore this because there's, it's just a problem with the launcher, not with your mod. 
and just click out there and go to inner call and as you can see our description has changed and if I click the cock icon as you can see the outer is hunt programmer and we'll talk about config later on in the advanced video so here is the important part is the mod developer tools if you type this button it will compile the mod and if you compile the mod other modders cannot steal any of your code so that's the coolest part of inner core so i cannot just change anything from all of this mod um, but this is mine so i can change it and you can see industrial craft is actually open source so you can take a look at, at its codes so in this first video we're gonna be actually creating a custom item so i'm gonna be opening a file in the tutorial mods it's in the tab in main.js this is our mod file so i'm gonna delete this and let's just write some code i'm gonna plug in my external keyboard now the first step in modding using inner core is you have to create the id of the item for in block launcher you have to use id numbers like 1 12 or 32 and 300 and blah blah, blah 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 but this is not very efficient because minecraft item id is always changing so what we're gonna do with inner call is we're gonna register the id into the launcher so the launcher will decide the numbers for us so we're gonna type in id registry dot register item id and we're gonna do this and we're gonna input an a string which is the item id like wooden planes and etc you cannot put spaces in here so i'm gonna name my item um, unknown orb okay so unknown orb will be registered into the launcher so there's a little mistake here and i must type the function so it's not register item id so it's gen item id all right there we go so now we're gonna we already have the unknown orb item so that's the item id we're gonna create the item using a function and by the way if uh, you're looking at me like this because um id registry is a module so you can put dots to call a function on it and you can call it like that and if it is a parameter you type in the parameter here and that's the basic of javascript so now we're gonna call from the module item dot we're gonna call the function create item and we're gonna put the semicolon there and we're gonna put the first argument the first argument is gonna be the item id in string so we're gonna create the item id for we're gonna create the item at this item id the unknown orb and then we're gonna put comma for the next argument the next argument will be the item name so we're gonna put in the item name That is what we'll be looking at in the inventory, and this is the texture. I'm putting this uh, symbol because it's an array or hash array. JavaScript has different types like numbers, string, strings just like this, and you can put a string. And if you want to boolean, you can put true or false. And this is called array, and this is called hash. I'm gonna write those. I'm gonna put in something inside here. So we're gonna put the texture name. So we're gonna put the name of the texture. It's gonna be the PNG file name in your texture pack folder. I'm gonna put unknown orb. And there is another argument you need is meta. I'm gonna put zero. I'm gonna explain what the meta is later on. 
And the next thing is uh, some kind of data you will put in your items, like stack size, its effect, is it a food item or not, you will put it there. And now it's time to move my texture pack into the mod folder. So I'm gonna pick my unknown orb texture, it's supposed to be somewhere here, there we go, I'm gonna just copy. And by the way, I'm using my default file manager. If you want to use yours, that's no problem at all. And if you want to use this 7 zipper, that's okay as well. Any file manager should work. And we'll go to games. Here we go. Com.mojang. And we're gonna go to mods. There we go. And go to the folder of tutorial mods. Assets and items of a queue and click done and we have the file here I'm gonna rename so this is your file name and we'll put underscore and the meta so this is what we input into the mods before so that's the meta you can put unknown orb 1 unknown orb 2 and use it for different items so the little fix that I need to do before installing this mod is putting quotation mark in here in the meta and in the name here and here there you go save it and let's go into inner course to see what we got we are now in minecraft and we're opening my inventory and open this sword tab and you can scroll down and you will find the unknown orb so this is your first mod, you can free to do anything you want with your creativity and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, bye bye.